Guardian Home Inspection Form, Line Inspection 7374, Perry Gord Court, Tonga, California 91042. Property faces north. I'm at the rear of the property uh, at a clean out. So the object to this inspection is to visualize your interior workings of your sewer camera. So I'm going to drop down here and clean out. This clean out is ABS. It appears to be 3 inch ABS. So I'm going to take this as far as I can go. ABS pipe appears serviceable. So a couple numbers that we should uh, discuss here: the 19 feet two inches that's distance traveled, and the minus two is the slope of the camera. Basically, um, it's telling me how the sewer line is sloped, and uh, I will be able to see if, if it's improperly sloped, something like that. So right now. I'm just going to keep pushing. And this, these videos can get kind of boring. Some standing water there. What that is. Hopefully, there's nothing. And once I get, the goal is to get to the main city sewer connection. Um, that was some standing water there. And then sometimes it gets hard to push. So I'll turn on the water for the supply lines in, inside the property. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how far I can take this. Like I said, these videos can get kind of boring. And if there's an issue, I will tell you, here's a clean out there. I don't know where the clean out is, but this is all underneath your house. So in a way, it's good that I'm seeing underneath the house uh, because sometimes the property has a clean out at the front and then we just use that and we take it from the property structure to the sewer line, main connection of the city. And we don't see underneath the house. This is underneath the house. So I'm 60 feet out. I'm going to keep pushing and see how far I can get this. I'm going to have to turn on the water to the structure because sometimes it gets harder to push the further I get out and the water will help me push. There's some standing water there, those are the turns. So now I'm probably like closer to the uh, the uh, structure line. So I'll be right back. Okay, I turned on the water supply. This could help me push. So I'll just take it as far as I can and then I'll come back once I'm uh, further out because uh, this could get boring. The sewer line looks in decent shape. I don't see any issues. This is all ABS. And then once I start getting further out, I might hit clay. But uh, 94 feet out, we'll see how far I can take this. So I'll be back. If I see anything exciting, I'll, I'll start recording. Okay, 127 feet out from this clean out here, um, I did find some tree roots here. Tree root intrusion here. Um, so see that on the bottom right and bottom left? Now this is clay, but this is where that uh, I see tree roots. So it could be crud, but it looks like tree roots. See that? That's how it starts. So right now I'm just gonna keep pushing, and I'll go find that. I'll locate it. My camera head has a song locator, and I can locate that. Okay, I got to the city connection. There it is right there. I don't see any issues with it. Right there, you see it? So, uh, pure serviceable. The only area that I do see that has an issue is that section with the tree roots where the clay starts. And then my camera has a song locator, so it's here. See here, here's that section of tree roots right there. So let me uh, locate that for you in a second. 
Okay, this uh, tree root intrusion at the clay to ABS connection, you have tree roots there, see that? So um, I contacted a licensed plumber to do a spot repair, it's seven and a half feet deep. It's located right at the front driveway at the paver section, uh, sort of underneath the sidewalk, but they could tunnel underneath and uh, approximately repair would be $5,000 to do that spot repair to, to clear that up, to fix that. So uh, I'll note that, put that in the report. Everything else looks pretty good. See, like this is all ABS, so it looks good. So now I'm just retracting my camera, and then that was the only issue I found. I, I got to your main city saddle connection, which was okay, and then this sewer line underneath the house looks good. Um, there's a clean out at the kitchen area we didn't do. Uh, we only were contracted to do the main sewer lateral line. That kitchen line occasionally has grease and will get blocked up, but you know, we didn't do that, and that's that would probably just be a snake, stick that in there and, and, and clear it up. But uh, maybe when the plumber comes out and fixes that sewer line at the front, they could uh, do some maintenance on your kitchen line, just so make sure it's not blocked up. Like I said, just to kind of clean it up and just to give you the, the a, a good bill of health, and then you move in with, you know, a decent sewer line. Uh, so right now, you're looking at $5,000 for that repair at that main sewer line underneath the driveway pavers, seven and a half feet deep to do a spot repair, approximately $5,000. So now I'm just going to continue on, retract my camera, and I'll be done uh, with the sewer line inspection here. Like I said, all this looks good underneath the house. And then uh, there should be a clean out installed at the front. I didn't locate it. There might be, this property is built in 2000, so there should be there, but there's all kinds of mulch. I didn't see it. Uh, so if there isn't, you might want to put one in. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm not going to tear up your lawn or like mulch to look for it. So hopefully there's one installed. If not, that would be uh, uh, recommended to be done. Um, so now I'm just going to finish up. So I'm all done here. Oh, I'm 46 feet out. It's a long sewer line here. And uh, I've seen all this, looks good. A few areas of standing water, but that shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, the slope of the sewer pipe looks good 24. Did. There you go. Alright, give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks again.